Uh, very good afternoon. Uh, I'm Prabhakar. Uh, I'm an account automation engineer uh, consultant here at uh, QNGDS. So today we'll be uh, seeing a demo on uh, the top agile practices on the software industry. So we'll be discussing on the major practices which are done in the software industry. So these are the five different uh, terms which we'll be discussing in today's uh, video. Um, so the first one is stand up meeting, uh, retrospective meeting, feedback and tasks, 360 degree feedback and planning poker. So we'll be discussing all these the terms and in the upcoming video we'll be discussing on the remaining uh, practices on Agile. So let's start with the uh, stand up meeting now. So stand up meeting is uh, it's uh, the Agile team in Agile uh, methodology, the company which follows Agile methodology, stand-up meeting is a very common uh, practice uh, which always happen at the beginning of the day. And uh, it mainly focuses on uh, three major factors, like what uh, the team member has done yesterday, what they're planning to do for today, and if they have any obstacles or hindrances so that they can uh, share it to the team and try to avoid it in the future. Uh, the stand-up meeting is uh, mainly boxed, uh, time box to five to 15 minutes. And uh, this can be mainly uh, to inform everyone of the team's progress. Uh, this is conducted uh, and to avoid any obstacles. And uh, that's the main uh, motto and uh, this uh, they have its three purpose, main purpose, so which is to have the focus on the team's uh, work and accountability on who are the, who, are, who are, what tasks are uh, handled by each team member and uh, to improve the motivation of the team members. So this, when it's done right, it, we have a great productivity, in the team's work. And uh, the second one is uh, retrospective meeting. Uh, here, like retrospective meeting is, a meeting which uh, which takes place at the end of each sprint or uh, the, before the beginning of uh, an annual sprint. So, so before going to that, we, we need to have a, a little idea of sprint because for people who are coming from a different background, a sprint may be an alien term. So, sprint is nothing. It's a it's a uh, scrum term defined as the time required to perform a logical series of prioritized tasks in a project. So we'll have uh, different tasks, but it is uh, profile, like it is uh, confined to a particular time period. So if you have a bigger, if you have a project which has a, you can say, less complex project, we'll divide it to a different. Uh, uh, sizes of sprint depending on the team's uh, experience and stuff. So, so yeah, like that can be many sprints in a given project. For example, like let's say like one year project may have twelve sprints for like one month each for one sprint. And uh, sprints, it can be it depends. Like uh, in where I worked, it sprints usually range between two weeks. It also two weeks to a month, so it depends on the complexity of the project. It can vary, and so like in the retrospective meeting. So once each sprint finishes, we'll have a retrospective meeting, and uh, it is to make the small improvements regularly and to apply them in a controlled and immediate manner. Uh, so the in retrospective meeting mainly focus on three different three different categories. So first thing is the activities which we shouldn't be doing. So let's say uh, in uh, if you check on the previous sprint which have completed, so they will focus and uh, decide that these kind of activities should not be repeated in the future sprints. And the activities which should which we should continue doing, like which gives a very good uh, productivity. So these those type of tasks should be uh, like recommended to. What happened again? Happen again? That's type of practice. And then, uh, if you have any new idea, we can discuss. Can add it uh, in that meeting so that we can start 
adding some new uh, ideas. So these are the main three categories which uh, they will focus on retrospective meeting. And then uh, it's uh, feedback on talks is a third agile practice. So whenever the task is done, there is uh, one more thing any experienced manager will do about it. Like so once you do a task, complete task, the manager will give a feedback for your work. This is that's mainly on feedback and tasks. So its main intention is to check how the task is, if it is engaging, if it is challenging, if it is boring, because um, if people work on too much on the boring tasks, they easily get demotivated and result in less productivity. So it's better to keep the team tempo on high. So uh, this feedback task, as I said, is a uh, team manager or a he uh, gives uh, feedback on uh, any task which uh, has been given to an employee. And uh, it can be different type uh, based on its character. Uh, it can be either formal or informal. It can be either positive or negative. It can be constructive or destructive, organized or chaotic. Uh, and the purpose of this feedback is to follow up activities after the feedback. So like uh, people, if, if it is positive feedback, they might get a reward, they might get a promotion, a salary hike, etc. If it is a negative feedback, they, they, they will have some terms on their promotional term. They might, in the worst case, they might even get fired. So uh, company use it as a uh, evaluation parameter on the task on each performed task. So, so yeah, that's more of the uh, feedback and us. Now uh, coming to this 360 degree feedback report. Um, this is mainly done uh, uh, for an employee uh, to actually evaluate its completely uh, his overall perspective of uh, his work style on a particular task or a project. So this uh, feedback system will be uh, given to each different members. It can be a manager, it can be a customer, it can be any other uh, team members who are involved in the project. Uh, so, it'll, so it is um, it, it's a process of evaluating team members where every, everyone provides feedback. So each uh, the person which I mentioned, it, Every person in the team, something related to the team will be receiving a, a survey. So uh, the survey might have uh, questions about terms uh, from five to 15 questions. And uh, this, so once you complete a survey, this survey uh, is, uh, the information is collected and stored. And it's mainly about this, the person's uh, self-awareness, uh, leadership quality, teamwork quality, communication quality. So this type of practice is done uh, basically once in a quarter. And uh, so these results are compared for each quarter. So each quarter they research, they collect this information and they, uh, try to collect it, uh, compare it from one to, to other. And uh, mainly it's done by the HR manager, uh, but in some cases, they, you can also see project or project managers doing that on the Scrum team. And uh, yeah, uh, the final uh, method is uh, agile method is planning poker. Uh, it's an interesting uh, concept. Uh, uh, planning poker is an agile estimating and planning technique that is uh, consensus based. Uh, so let's say like to start a planning poker session. Uh, the product owner uh, normally reads a um, story to the uh, team members. So uh, there will be a meeting and uh, so like product owner will be uh, describing the story to the team members who are uh, uh, present in the meeting. And uh, so each person will be given uh, cards with the different values, like uh, mostly with the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, so every everyone will be having uh, all the cards 
and uh, once the product owner uh, explains the uh, a particular story and uh, uh, the team members will be asked to estimate ex for example if let's say if uh, if they want to have a new project a new particular section you are a particular section and they want to know what is the complexity or how long does it take to complete the project or uh, particular task so uh, the product owner will ask the team members to uh, estimate uh, particular number of days so each uh, person sitting in the uh, meeting will be uh, will be asked to select a card and they will try uh, they will uh, hide the details so once uh, the product owner asks them to reveal uh, everyone will reveal their uh, cards so when the person with the higher number the person with the lower number uh, will be asked to explain their uh, uh, reason for their values so this is done to uh, mainly uh, to discuss about their reasons and uh, it's repeated uh, so that everyone is having is in the same page so so this is repeated uh, and unless you have a, uh, the same level of uh, points let's say uh, four people having uh, raised five points and four people has raised uh, two people has raised two points then uh, the product owner will go with uh, the one with the majority, so five. So by this, you will have a proper uh, uh, discussion with the team members, so they will know the rea ground reality of any task. Uh, so even if one has any doubt, so the other will be with the discussion of this uh, interesting way, people will be in the same page. So that it will increase the productivity. So, yeah, that's uh, five practices which uh, uh, practices which are done in the um, software. So that's for today. Uh, the future videos will be having the next set of uh, agile practices. Mm -hmm.